my kids come first. Yes. And men and women both say that those that have kids have said that before, you know? Yeah. If they've been divorced and now they're dating and they want to get out there and, um, but they let you know. Yeah, they're letting you know. My hey, kids my, my kids come first. Yeah, my kids come first. Does that happen? Do you think that the kids come first all the way through dating and marriage? Or is it just my kids come first as I'm dating, but then we can discuss other ways of um, having our relationship after we have settled down and, and decided that we're going to be with each other? All I know is that if you are with someone who tells you that, usually you're not ever going to be in the rightful place as a spouse because the kids from the previous marriage have superseded your place in their heart. Mm -hmm. On a personal level, I remember overhearing my father tell my stepmom that I come first and they were arguing. They were arguing over money. My dad had worked an extra job or did something so that I could go, you know, to this extracurricular activity And she was saying, hey, we need that money for this and that. And he was really upset. And I remember, I I think it was like 14 or 15 at this time. And she had kids as well. I, I knew something was wrong about that. I didn't feel good. And I was like, oh, man, I wish my dad didn't say that because I didn't want to be first. But was that when they were dating or after they were, they were married? Well, they were married, but he would say that all the time. <laughs> I mean, I was around him when he dated her mm-hmm. and just how he was. That was kind of like his personal motto. Well, one thing I know is that that is a sore spot for some people because some people feel like nobody comes before my kids. And that was my dad. And then there's other people who say, I'm going to go out and date. I have kids. I'm not going to let that person see my kids until I am very, right. you know, close to that person. Mm-hmm. And then we can come together as a family until we decide that we're going to get married. If you feel that way or you're trying not to feel that way, let's, let's say that you should really date someone and remarry someone that can take that spot. So let's go back. So what, okay. are you, what are you saying? Somebody that could take that spot. What I'm saying is that when my parents got divorced, I guess there was a spot close to his heart that was uh, vacant and I moved in it and I didn't even want to. I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Right. And so he moved me into a spot that I shouldn't have been in. That happens often. Yes. Yeah. And when he said that to my stepmom, I, for the first time ever, I could feel resentment from her. Mm. Oh, wow. You know, as a kid. So one of the things that happens as a red flag, I guess you could say, is when someone says, my kids come first, it can make the potential mate or spouse feel resentment. For the kids. For the kids. Yes. And I felt like that. She never said that we had a good relationship. I loved her and I loved my stepbrother and sister. But like, I kind of felt like that was the first time she was like, Aki needs to go home and, and, and go stay with her mom (laughs) because she is causing in her extracurricular activity and my father's, you know, lack of prioritizing Mm -hmm. in the right order caused a riff. But I think that's more so when it comes to marriage. But if you're dating someone saying that my kids come first... I think that there's a different way of saying it. It's more like, I really love my kids. And right now they're my responsibility. They're they're my number one responsibility. Yes. So as long as we're dating and you realize that I have the responsibility of my children, then we can continue to date. But if you are expecting to be number one over my kids and we're only dating, then it's kind of hard. That's a hard pass. Yeah, it's a hard pass for that one. I do want to have a life. So I want to date you, but my kids actually come first in this sense. You had kids when we were dating. And at first it was like, you can't meet my kids right now. Mm -hmm. You know, first dating, you can meet them if and when we're serious. Yes. We had to prioritize when we would date because it would be harder for you to date when it was your time to have the kids. Correct. And so... That's that was different. But you never said to me 
My that, kids come first. Yeah, I've never said that. And most people know that if you have kids, look, I'm not going to just, you know, leave my kids and we're going to go kicking it. But to me, a red flag would be, I know you have those kids. I know you have that responsibility, but I'm expecting to be over them. Yeah, that's like, it, that's a two-way red flag. Yeah. One is, I'm telling you, my kids come first in a sense of forever. And you're telling me, no, no. I'm first if you want to be with me without any understanding. There's a lot of communication that has to take place. In understanding with remarriage. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of you really. I mean, you really can't just go by one dating rule or marriage rule or relationship rule. You really have to get to know that person specifically and find out if you guys can make it. Yeah, are compatible and can make this work. Mm -hmm. That's why dating for remarriage is so much more serious. There are so many components when you're dating for remarriage. 